hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel so i you know i believe that i love gnu slash linux and the only operating system i'm going to use in my entire life is going to be gnu slash linux no matter what happen i'm never going to switch so you must be wondering why there is so much dark in here let me start my computer so yeah it's starting so yeah i love you know slash links i mean uh everything about it like it's so nice and for, forget this it's a slow it's just you know it's a stupid so yeah but then i read somewhere that free bsd is better and i was like okay fuck linux let's try free bsd all right so not try actually it's it's installed and i installed it last night i spent some time on it and it reminded me the hackintosh like i once installed hackintosh for you know i just wanted to try mac so it reminded me because hackintosh is based on you know uh, it's based on bsd so it's uh, it's like darwin is based on bsd so yeah i tried free bsd i wrote a blog about it so i am going to you know just show you and you might be wondering why i am recording it from my phone well uh, it's because not because i don't have xorg or something like that it's because my obs is uh, you know i have to do some things right now it's not done yet so i'm running ice wm now you might be wondering why the fuck i'm running ice like it's a it's a really good uh, i think it's a really good what is that window manager right so it's a really good window manager and i don't know why i opened this terminal oh i opened emacs all right so yeah how is this like it's it's free bsd let me type neo fetch if you want why i have this terminal open let me close so by the way i can't edit this video because right now i don't have a kd in live so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to you know make the video and upload it like straight from my phone so how cool is that so this is free bsd and i'm going to talk about why i'm using this by the hell by the way i wrote a article about this so in case if you just want to read that article i'm trying to find firefox and by the way in free bsd i got firefox not the current firefox which is shitty the old firefox which i wanted and i love so it's like my true love all right so i don't have ssd so that's why it took so long so let me open the article which i wrote and i shared it on freebsd forums and i think freebsd is a really nice alternative of linux and i tried it and i love it let me put the camera a little bit close so the thing about freebsd is that first of all it's an entire operating system that's where i i start liking it i was like all right so linux is just some kind of hacky stuff like you got gnu utilities you get got some other things and it just you know combines everything and people make distro out of it uh, also one more thing like in this article if you go and read and by the way my website i did some changes it's look it looks very minimal so i'm going to make a video about it i'm going to teach you how to make you know cool website like this uh, you might don't find this cool you might say it's ugly but no it's it's awesome it's minimal all right and go read this page if you don't understand minimalism so the thing is like uh all right so by the way in this article i wrote somewhere this line by linus toward so the the development of linux kernel is very messy because in the end of the day it's just um it's just a guy uh linus toward who started you know making linux and it's not you know completely like it's bloated in simple words it's it's just bloated all right now uh, also read these um, like mail list uh, comments by linus robert like what the fuck guys this piece of shit comment is marked for stable but clearly now i'm just trying to say that it's not good and the free bsd guys are more you know more professional more better and they are writing the entire operating system and not just a part of it every package is you know packaged by the developer in, himself so i think it's it's really stable it's faster and uh, now some of my friends are were arguing that the applications don't run faster on you know freebsd it runs faster on you know linux but the thing is that um, on the network side obviously it's faster so if you have any server well try to install freebsd i'm going to move to freebsd so 
uh, I according to me I will recommend you FreeBSD I think you should move to FreeBSD it's a really great thing and uh, I think the only issue with FreeBSD is the community is very small so sometimes you don't you know get uh, cool stuff like cool updates but if you are someone who know how to live with just terminal like I tell you on, on this channel all right so you are going to be fine with it it's it's really worth it all right so let me try to show you by the way this is i stopped doing so i installed one file manager now you are going to call me a hypocrite because i uploaded a lot of video where the fuck is it? oh wait let me find it so yeah i don't it, the name of that file manager is pc uh, mac man fm all right so this is a xor old school file manager and i will rise it i mean I tried to make it look old school. I really like this um, timer in the corner in the I stuff uh, normal, right? So this is an unedited video. So sorry about all the, you know, bad English and everything. So by the way, in this article, I wrote uh, in detail, like, uh, what are the things? Like, for example, in FreeBSD, when you do LS bin, so it's just all the tools which are very necessary. And uh, if you do the same command, if you run the same command in your, uh, you know, in your Arch Linux, you're going to find tons of program here. All right. So uh, FreeBSD organize files pretty nicely. Uh, and this is one thing which I liked about this. And I watched one video. So the guy was telling and I was like, okay. By the way, now you guys might say that I moved to FreeBSD because, you know, Luke Smith made some videos about that. And some other YouTubers were also making BST video. But to be honest, I watched those videos today. All right. So ignore my recommendation. It's just... Uh, just some stupid stuff all right so yeah i watched this video today so i realized that he was also trying out this so it's not like i'm copying someone actually i i wanted to try freebsd because i once opened freebsd website and i read all of the stuff they wrote and i was pretty convinced i was like yeah it's a, it's a nice project it's for professionals and uh you know not like anyone can add something in uh, linux kernel and uh, things are pretty messy even Linus Stovard himself said that you know things are getting out of the hands so that's one reason and uh, this is just a rough video I'm going to make some tutorials too and uh, first of all I will make tutorials on my website by the way so sorry for this uh, you know I'm just you know rambling right now but the thing is that I want you guys to try FreeBSD at least on the server. I think FreeBSD is a you know is a really nice operating system. And now some of you might say why not OpenBSD or NetBSD. I wrote in this article that uh, the reason why not OpenBSD is that I I did some research. So um, some people were saying that OpenBSD is uh, more for security and for the sake of security, it's a little bit slower than FreeBSD. And FreeBSD is better for you know. Uh, for desktop computers all right also one more thing which i want to mention is that the installation process of freebsd was so easy i got surprised like it's it's easier than arch and uh, now i watch uh, Lake smith video where he was talking about like uh he, he liked the arch way of installation but i like freebsd way of installation i, I i'm not saying like i don't like arch way of installation but um, you know uh, in bsd and the installation uh, like um, uh, it will ask you what you want to do and i like the options and they really created a really nice uh, installer so it was like a yes or no thing i got some issues uh, while installing xor but it was just my mistake it's not like uh, um, the system got any bug or issue so i find uh, previous to more stable and i think that um, it's I, I don't get a lot of issue in FreeBSD in comparison to Linux. Like in Linux, I, you know, when every time I try to do something, I got a lot of issue. But right now, I'm just getting started. So I don't have a good audio setup. I'm just working with the default. I might want to install Pulse Audio. I don't know how things work here. And yeah, there are some changes. Like it's more Unix way. And um, you know i think it's better to if you are good with terminal and i think you should move you might get less application if you like atom editor then you might don't get atom because i was reading some article where some guy some soid was ranting about i don't know like i can't link this um i tried previous i i read one article where once soider was angry on freebsd because he thought like 
it's it's not good he he's not getting the applications which he want but uh, according to me like whatever i did on previous day i think it's worth it and you guys should move and if i uh, get stick to this environment like previous day not i still am by the way i like i still wm2 but if i get stick with previous day um i wonder like am i a linux youtuber anymore <laughs> so that's the question by the way so yeah i think it's it's in a cringe for today all right so thanks for watching this video i think my audio quality must be bad and i'm not going to edit this so everything will be bad so yeah so i don't know by the way read my blog and subscribe to my rss feed i i really wanted this I, i actually i wrote first blog about this so you can read that like everything i wanted from my website and <laughs> not website the blog so it's very minimal by the way also i got some emails where people were asking like how to set up a website so i'm going to do that too because i got one vps one of my friends vps so he wanted me to uh, fix his vps like set up the website and everything so i will record that and i will make the video about that so by the way this wallpaper is just it's just a small image it's just styled it's cool all right so thanks for watching and uh, you know see you